Hi, my name is Linda Crocco, and I'm going to do a quick demo on how I do some of my alcohol ink flowers. Here's a picture of a larger one that I had done. Um, what I will be using is three colors of alcohol ink for the flowers. In this demo, I am using shell pink, a red, and I don't know the name of this color, it doesn't seem to be on the bottle, and then pesto for the stem. I have a bottle here. Um, it used to be alcohol blending solution. It actually now only contains alcohol. And then, of course, canned air, which I pick up from Walmart. So I start off by just putting the lighter color down first and spraying it with the canned air. I usually put down three, three different places, sometimes four. Then I go to the next color. In this case, it's going to be a red. And you don't have to be too um, concerned about how it looks at this point. It's okay if it's messy and not perfect, that's fine. And the last col color is this purple one, which is one of my favorites. I use it quite a bit. And if you put down a little more ink, it'll go a little further. Less ink, it'll not go quite so far. Now this is the part that's really kind of magic to me, is I put down this alcohol ink right at the base of the flower and spray that gently over the inks that I've just put down. See how it gives this a really pretty watercolor effect. I've done this with different colors and combinations and every time it just seems to really come out really nice. Um, I've done quite a few flowers this way. I'm very happy with it. It doesn't take a long time. Okay, now as I do the um, stem, I usually start by putting the stem a little bit below the flower and I pour it in the direction that I want the stem to go. And the reason I start a little bit below is I'm again going to use the canned air. I'm going to use it pretty gently this time and push it, um, the air will push that ink up into the flower. That was probably a little bit too much, but that's okay. And I just go ahead and spray. And see how pretty that is already? And I'm going to put just a little bit more right here. And let that just follow the lines of the ink right up and out. And I usually like to put one um, leaf on there. And I think I'm going to put it on this side. Again, I'm pouring it out in that kind of an arc. And I'm pretty happy with the way that came out. I'm going to put a little bit a little bit more stem because the stem's a little bit short. And just let that go out. It'll look like a little extra leaves. And that's it. I'm actually pretty happy with that flower. I think it looks nice. Um, once it's framed, it'll be pretty. And that's how I do my alcohol ink flowers. Thank you very much.